Hey guys, in this video we are going to remove a Nova Compute node. Uh, this it's really difficult to get an inst or get a node removed from the cloud environment at this time. Uh, if you don't mind it looking messy, uh, you can do it pretty easily, but it's always going to show up out here in your hypervisors until you actually manually edit the MySQL tables. And that's what we're going to do right now. So let's start with the simple stuff. Uh, the node we added. Now I'm only going to show you how to remove a Nova Compute node. If there's another node out there that has multiple services uh, uh, on it, you know, if you go to GG and look at machines, see all this thing has is Nova Compute. Uh, one of these is going to be messy and if you remove it the cloud is no longer going to function. But this is more about taking away and adding uh, compute power. So we're going to take this node out of the mix. So, start with the simple stuff. Go to host aggregates, uh, manage hosts, and take the host that you want to remove out of that aggregate. Hit save. Uh, back to hypervisors. See, it's still going to be there, but host aggregates now, it's, it's in the default availability zone. So that's really all you got to do on the dashboard. Let's go to landscape. Uh, computers. Let's still remove the machine from landscape. So just click on the machine, hit remove computer. That's no big deal. Uh, where else? So we want to take him out from Juju. So, we'll exit out of the machine here. So we'll get into the Juju internal GUI. Let's do a Juju status on Nova Compute slash 2. So you can see he's still in a started state. Uh, I believe what we want to do is remove dash unit. Okay. Now this is kind of messy. You can see he's in a dying state. Nine times out of ten, when I do this kind of stuff, he never comes out of a dying state we're gonna give him a chance and we're gonna let him sit here for a little while and see if he will actually come out of that state but most of the time we just have to force the machine uh, and destroy the whole machine so but we'll we'll deal with that when we come to it here so now more about this removing it permanently from MySQL so it no longer shows up in your host list so we're gonna have to edit a few tables and I've got notes here because the commands are huge first off to talk to Nova or Neutron or Cinder or Landscape the commands are ridiculous long and you can set up um, you can set the exports up in a file so you don't have to enter a lot of this stuff it already knows about it uh, but I want to show you how to build these commands so when you're in one of these machines, and let's actually go to the machine that we want to destroy. Doesn't matter which one you want to work on as long as they're all in the same cluster. We'll just do it from here. Uh, this is the machine that we want to destroy. So let me show you how to build one of these commands. So really the command that we want to enter is Nova service dash list. But if you were to do that, it's going to ask you all these other questions. So it wants to know uh, who the OS username is going to be. And it's going to be admin because that's what we use to log in to OpenStack. Uh, what's the tenant name? Again, it's going to be admin. Uh, 
the tenant is pretty much the same thing. It's the tenant is actually the project name. So this is the admin project, and you can see what the project name is if you go into OpenStack and you go into uh, identity and projects admin. Admin's the name of the project. So that's the tenant name. Uh, OS password. The OS password will be the password that Landscape gives you to log into OpenStack. So go to OpenStack beta here, and it's this password down here. That's what the password is. And then the OS auth URL. This is the URL that OpenStack gives you right here underneath your username and password. Landscape gives you underneath username and password. So this is the URL that you need to use in those commands. I know they're really long, but uh, that's what it takes to get these commands run. So we're gonna we're gonna list the service lists for Nova. Connection reviews. Oh, it's because my URL is wrong. It's one fifteen, not one seventeen. No problem. Okay, so here's the service list, and you can see now that we removed it from the host aggregate, uh, he's down. So we need to get these are just my SQL tables. We need to get him out of this table. Uh, it, but make sure he is listed as down. Uh, it could really cause some problems if uh, if he wasn't. So let's next thing we need to do. Let, let's do a few more of these commands. Uh, like get a hypervisor list here. Okay, you can see that this is pretty much the same command, uh, but it just has hypervisor list. So let's grab it. What did we mess up? Oh, I just cut off the list part. Okay, so you can see that new node there. That's the one we want to remove. So now we need to go, we need to use the juju ssh to get to the mysql node. So let's exit out of this machine. Now would be a good time actually to use screen so that we can jump back back and forth in between some of these machines. So let's make sure screen is started. And let's add a couple of screens. Control A P Control A P. Oh. Control A C. Okay, so on this one we'll get into we'll make sure GG is exported. I know it is, but we'll do it anyway. And let's get into the internal Juju on this screen. And then we can get into the node that we're going to remove on one of the other ones. So we don't have to keep logging out. Okay. So, we're in Juju. Now, we need to get to the MySQL node with the LXC container. So, we're going to use the Juju SSH function. Which makes things really handy. Okay, and now we're going to log in to MySQL. With this command. Your MySQL root password 
uh, the easiest way to find it is to go to Juju and just just go to the charm and go into settings and it'll be down here there it is right there you can change it if you like but you have to run some commands and we're not going to be in here that often so okay now we're logged into MySQL now the first database we're going to edit is the Nova database so we'll do a use Nova database changed then let's list uh, the table uh, it's going to be the compute nodes table and we're going to list it by hypervisor host name so this will show you uh, what's in there Okay, now the goal is to remove this entry. So, let's go back to Nova and get a service list. So, again, back on the node that we're trying to remove. he's right here and he is enabled and up uh, that means that the juju remove hasn't uh, the remove unit hasn't really done a lot of work yet so let's take a status of it he is still in a dying state that he's still stopping some of the functions. So we'll probably see if we go back to the display we did for Nova. We're probably going to see this change to down here in a second. So, okay, there it is. So he's down. Now we're going to delete that entry that hypervisor the node that we want to remove from that SQL table so let's go back to MySQL and we'll delete it and you have to enter the, the hypervisor name exactly as it is in this table and he said one row modified OK that's good let's display it again and he's gone all right uh, now we're going to look at the services table you can see he's still in the services table so let's remove it from there and again you have to see it was dot maz up here this is not so it's whatever it is in that table you have to use that name so we use that name one row removed, that's good. Let's take a look, and it's gone. Now, we'll check the hypervisor list again to make sure it's been removed. We'll also check the service list. Just repeating a lot of these steps. Again, this is the node that we're removing. Just so I can show you the process. So, he's gone out of there, that's good out of the hypervisor list. Let's check the service list. And he's no longer in there. That's good. Uh, now we need to remove the neutron piece uh, from the agent list. This is the open vSwitch portion that it installs anytime you do a, a GG add for a node. It, it puts the open vSwitch the networking piece on the node so you can use them and you can see he's here so that's his agent so we need to remove that agent and he's in the neutron table so we'll go to the neutron database neutron database not neutron table so let's go to the neutron database 
and we will take a look at what's in the agents table right now and there's the agent that we want to remove so let's delete him from the agents table one row affected that's good take a look he's gone we can exit from MySQL let's jump over and see how he's doing on the remove and he did he worked successfully that time so the remove at the beginning of the video I was telling you that almost you always have to use force and just kill the machine uh, to get this to work but this time it worked for us so that's that's good now you can see life went to dead instead of dying if if you do get stuck in a dying state uh, like this this it never goes into dead and goes away uh, you have to delete the machine you have to destroy the machine with force and what you can do this is the Nova Compute 4 but it's machine number 5 so just use juju destroy machine force and then the machine number so the command would look like this but it, the machine is no longer there so it's not going to do anything uh, doesn't exist but this is what you would have to do if if that never came out of a dying state so that's how you remove a Nova Compute node let's make sure OpenStack is clean still it is the the node is not there in the list any longer that's good uh, also now that we're all done everything's cleaned up tables have been cleaned up uh, now is a great time to shut down the node we removed and he's going down and he check your mass he's now in a ready state ready to be used for whatever you want to spin up next so hope that was helpful guys uh, I don't know what we're gonna do on the next video I'm hoping to find some more hardware uh, so we'll see what we can find fun to do uh, thanks for watching guys